Hey, shalom, shalom, everybody. I hope you all can see me and hear me. Um, I'm coming on here just to say thank you, thank you, thank you to all that have given and prayed. We have got our elders' light bill paid. I just went and paid it. Hallelujah. We just thank and praise the Most High that He has placed it on each and every one of our hearts to give and to pray for our elder. And that's what it's about. You know, here at Hebraic Awakening, we are not only waking our people up to who we are. It's really important that we learn who we are in the kingdom. But what's really important is that we learn to do what Yeshua or Jesus the Christ has told us to do in this walk. And he said that we should show love one toward another. And how we do that is by giving and showing that we love one another. You know, um, one of our seniors who look out for other seniors, she called us crying, saying, you know how God is going to bless us. And I'm like, don't cry. We're only doing what the Most High instructed us to do. We're not special. You know, we're not extraordinary. It's what the Bible has instructed us to do. And I just thank and praise the Most High that people gave without really questioning and getting into the elders' business. And just know that it's people out here that take advantage of the elders, okay? And I was just so grateful that when we went to pay the light bill, the young lady discerned that it was for a senior. And she began to tell us about different programs and extinction plans. And she knows that seniors are sometimes a little prideful, you know, when it comes to asking for help. So I would just thank and praise the Most High that she took the time to talk to me about that and to show me different ways that we can go about helping our seniors. You know, I don't know if anybody out there has been without their lights, but I know we have. And we went 30 days without our lights, okay? And it's hard to be without lights, especially in the summertime. So, you know, if all I can do is give $5, that's all I can do. I've learned to give out of the abundance, and I've learned to give when I only have $5, when I only have $3. Okay, so it's very important to give because the, what the Most High has shown us is that when we take care of others, He will take care of us. He will make a way, as we all know, out of no way, and He has never forsaken us as long as we are helping and doing what we are supposed to do and loving and living and walking a, a righteous walk, living a righteous lifestyle. Um, we are also having our first senior dinner. I just got finished talking with our senior society president. Uh, we will have our first dinner in September to honor our seniors. Um, we're also launching our senior society organization where the senior committee goes out in the community. And the first uh, assignment that we have is to go visit the sick and the shut-in. So the seniors and the widows, they are going to go visit the sick and the shut-in and pray with them. You know, we're gonna. They, everybody can do what they can and give what they can, especially if it's your time. If if that's all you got to give, that's all you got to give is your time. So we're gonna make sure that seniors go visit other seniors that are sick and shut in and pray, and just visit with them. Uh, we also launching our T-shirt store. That was launched in response to this crisis. When this crisis came with our elder. You know, I said we need to create another stream of income where those profits can go directly to the senior society in crisis, you know, so that we don't always have to, you know, ask for donations that the uh, t-shirt business can also supply that need. So look out for our t-shirt store, uh, support it because 100% of the proceeds, the other half goes to the um, manufacturers and then the other half we get to keep and that half it goes directly back into the senior uh, society and the organization so support support that we're also expanding our senior food pantry in Indiana okay we are going to start serving the senior community in Indiana so we are not trying to become like the Salvation Army we're not trying to become like the Red Cross. We want this to be done by everybody. Wherever you are in your state, we can help you launch, you know, your own food pantry, your own organization. Uh, we can help you, mentor you, give you advice, whatever you need to launch it. 
So we all, because this is all about all of us, a community of believers, not just about one person or one organization trying to take over everything. That's not what this is about. We want to become a community of believers who love and show light because that's what Yeshua or Jesus the Christ said. That's what he said to do, and that's what we're going to do. So I just wanted to hop on here really quick to say thank you. Keep praying for us. We are definitely praying for you. And that's the next phase. The next phase is that we're going to go and we're going to lay hands on the sick. And they're going to be healed in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. They are going to be healed. So that's the next phase. You know, not just giving out food, but we're going to go into the healing. Because many of our seniors, you know, are dealing with ailment and they're asking for prayers. So we're going to begin to lay hands and command healing and deliverance for our people, all right? So, until the next video, shalom, everybody.